today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys 23 life lessons that i've learned here on this earth in honor of my 23rd birthday i felt the need to just you know share my experiences and what better way than to make it into this video now i might be looking down a few times i had wrote all of them down on my ipad yeah there's a little quote i might say in the video but so keep that in mind now to start it off number one it is okay to ask for help you will be surprised by who is willing to help you in your time of need like something that i've had to realize is when you're asking for help that People that the people that you least expect are the ones willing to help you, support you, be there for you. Number two, self love slash self care. I find that this is extremely important, especially in this day and age. Like we see so many amazingly beautiful people taking care of themselves. You know, they're healing their inner child. They're working on themselves inwardly and outwardly you know like they're breaking generational curses self-love to me is just taking care of yourself making sure that you're okay at the end of the day being able to enjoy your own company being able to acknowledge your faults you know being able to recognize that you know you are a bomb ass person when it comes to what you do in your everyday life, you know, like it's okay to uplift yourself. It's important to uplift yourself because as we all know, happiness is within us. So do what makes you happy at the end of the day because this is your life to live. Number three, be the person you always envision yourself to be. And what I mean by that, for example, Say, for instance, as a guy, you envision yourself as the type of person where, you know, I'm always going to go to my son's games. You know, I'm going to always cheer him on every sports event, you know, anything and everything that he has that he wants to achieve. I'm going to be like his number one supporter. Like, that's who I envision myself to be. That's what I mean by that. Number four, save your money there's no right or wrong way to save your money but just i just recommend it um take 20 bucks out of your check each each time you get paid you know take out 50 100 whichever just save it and then put it somewhere and don't ever touch it just add on to it number five don't be hard on yourself too many times i found myself doing that and I have to like really be like Keyshawn. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Like mistakes happen. Millions of people make mistakes on a regular basis. So don't sweat it. Number six, trust your instincts. We all have it for a reason. Like your body and your spirit, like. They give you signs it signals all the time like don't go against it learn to trust yourself number seven make mistakes make a lot of mistakes we're all here to learn to grow and evolve so with that in mind make as many mistakes learn from them and grow and evolve you know and don't allow anyone to ever try to make you feel any type of way about any past mistakes you've made either because let's face it we've all made them nobody's perfect the most saint person has made some horrific mistakes in their lives too does it make it okay for them to judge number eight try something new step outside of the box who wants to be comfortable? Who wants to stay stagnant? Who wants to stay in the same 
place that they were in two, five years ago. Like you would be surprised what you're capable of, what you're good at, what you're best at. Number nine, do what makes you happy and don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Definitely just, you know, do what you love at the end of the day and don't worry about what other people think, you know. Your life is your own. My life is my own. What you do in your free time is what you do in your free time. What I do in my free time is what I do in my free time. What is meant for me is meant for me. What is meant for you is meant for you. Don't care what anybody else thinks. This is your life. No one else's do. Number 10. Not everything is meant to last. Sometimes the people you swore you couldn't live without, three, five years later, y'all are no longer the same people you once were and you grow apart and you move forward. And it just so happens that the relationship that you once had is no longer there. Number 11. If someone shows you who they truly are, believe them. Don't stick around for like the fucking 50th red flag you done seen from somebody. Like you don't have to go through hardship. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Number 12. Do not put people on a pedestal whether they're your co-workers your friends your family whoever whatever don't put people on a pedestal i had to learn that over the years and it will definitely leave you devastated it will especially when you're the type of person that you know you'll go above and beyond for other people you would only hope that the same would be given back to you just for it not to so Again, don't put people on a pedestal. <clears throat> 13. Don't hold grudges. Take accountability and move forward. Holding a grudge is like hating somebody, you know? Too much fucking energy <laughs> that could be gone and put to use into something positive and passionate. So don't hold grudges. It doesn't benefit you. It doesn't benefit anybody. And it's just... It's not good, like it's really not. Number 15, don't chase boys. If he's showing you red flags, if he's showing you signs that he's not truly interested or invested in you, don't chase him. You shouldn't have to. It's like, dude, you put all this effort and energy into trying to get with me. And usually the boys that you wind up chasing, you wind up regretting and being so upset at yourself or because it's like, time energy and so much more that's being invested like sis you talking to a square when your prince charming is over here trying to get with you but you stuck on stupid with this fool you know so don't chase <laughs> okay don't chase these little boys okay. number 16 don't rely on others if you want something done do it yourself like if you really want like a fucking ps5 don't wait for somebody else to get it girl go get it yourself something that i really wanted i really wanted a camera i have been telling people for years like i want a camera i want a camera i don't know what kind of camera but i know i want a camera i waited years and years and years baby as soon as i got some loot I got it if you can get it yourself go get it pretty much like don't rely on other people because <sighs> a waste of breath energy time number 17 be the person that you wish someone was to you this one is very important because i'm sure each and every last one of us can relate to like there was a time in our lives where we just wish that you know we had just that one person to step in and be nice and uplifting and positive 
at a moment where you need some uplifting and encouraging words. Be that person that steps in to help someone when you know for a fact that they're not okay and they need help in some way. Just be that for people. Because you'll be surprised by another person's reaction to it. You know, you could definitely brighten someone's day by just being a nice, decent human being. Number 18, you are not alone. You are loved, you are cherished, you are appreciated. Each and every last one of us was put on this earth for a reason. That we each serve a purpose, whether it's good or bad, I would hope good for all of y'all watching. <laughs> and I think it's important that we all remind ourselves just how important and cherished that we are you know no matter what anyone tries to say and it is important that you know it you believe it and you acknowledge that you're meant to be here you know you're meant to be here you're meant to do something great you serve a purpose like you are special number 19 it is okay to be different i remember when i first started working like there had there were times where my co-workers literally made me feel like i was like from a whole nother planet because i didn't listen to mainstream music it was kind of like weird for not knowing but either way like it's okay to be different it's okay to listen to different music it's okay to be in, interested in different things it's okay to like what you like and not everybody else be interested in that you know either way you are you you are meant here for whatever purpose that um is called upon you so be you do you enjoy life and there's so many different people out there who are interested in the same type of things you are 20 this one is a big one let me whip this out real quick i need to read this verbatim okay maturity is a mindset maturity is a mindset don't let anyone discourage you because of your age most of these adults who like to yell out to the world i'm grown i'm this i'm that people like that are big ass kids in adult bodies people who are older they love to say that they love to like publicize that you know i'm a grown this i'm a grown that you know have respect for your elders do this do that but it's like you're not being respectful either how can i give respect if you're not showing respect i'm immature but you're the one still giggling and gossiping about people in shit that has nothing to do with you i'm immature but you're the one that's acting like you're still in high school you know like i'm immature but you're talking behind my back and you could you, you could have simply had a conversation with me you know like i had to learn that number 21 don't tolerate anybody's bullshit don't 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 let anybody push you over don't allow anybody to disrespect you because let me tell you what what cardi say people gonna do what you allow so right at the head of the situation you need to dead shit you know let people know like look i'm a cool ass person but i'm not gonna tolerate the dumb shit i'm not gonna tolerate this i'm not gonna tolerate that don't talk to me like that and watch your tone you know like set boundaries pretty much to number 22 it is okay to start over try something new that's like going to college you used to be a dentist and then in the middle of you taking the classes and going through everything you realize oh shit i think i would be interested in being a tv broadcaster you know like it happens every day you will be surprised at what life has in store for you what opportunities will be given to you just by you being at like a certain place at a certain time or whatever the case may be like you'd be surprised you know and last and final 
lesson is just because something didn't work out doesn't mean anything. Something better is just in store. Nothing is set in stone, you know, so try new things, explore, learn who you are as an individual, you know, usually when an opportunity closes, another one presents itself, one that you didn't expect, one that was far more better than what you originally thought that you wanted for yourself, you know? And that's usually how life works. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every last one of you, each and every last one of you guys taking the time to listen to me run my mouth about the lessons I've learned. And I'm pretty sure some of you have gone and experienced some of these. Um, I'm only 23. There's so much more for me to learn. I just plan on keep growing. Um, Feel free to comment down below some of your experiences that you have learned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Part of my sincerity, you know I'm a remedy. My love be a therapy, all around remedy.